What's up, guys? We're the Pogie Smiths, and we're coming at you with a special episode today. What have we got? So my mom actually found all these Beckett magazines on an auction, and she got this whole stack of them for five dollars. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, and so like this top one here. Um, that is a jacked up looking you. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> now this one's from February of 2000. So this is a... Yeah, look what it says right here. Win an uncut fossil holographic card sheet. Yeah. People would go nuts for that. <laughs> are you kidding me? What do you, what do you think that would even be worth? That would be worth like probably like 50 grand or something like that. Like 10,000 plus dollars, I'm thinking. Every fossil holographic card in an uncut sheet, yeah, that would, yeah. <laughs> that'd probably be worth upwards of ten to twenty thousand plus dollars. That's cool. Well, let's just let's just look at some of this stuff. Yeah, let's flip through and see. Uh, and what's interesting is they have the price sheets. Ooh, yeah, they've got this. all the games, and they have the price sheets That's... for the cards at that time, which is kind of interesting. So you can wow. go back and see like how much each card was worth at the time. Look at that artwork for gold and silver. Japanese, that's cool. Yeah. Oh look, and, it, and then it shows you, it's actually got all the Pokemon from- In, in the Japanese names. Oh yeah, that's cool. The Japanese names are way different on some of these. Yeah, Very like look at Mareep. Mareepu. Mareepu, yeah. <laughs> Snubble is Buru. Interesting, Yado King. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, nice, and then they sh they're showing off some of the cards, and that looks like that is, yeah, one of the Neo sets there. Very cool. I really want to get. I gotta get some. I gotta get some of the Neo cards. Definitely will someday. Fan art. Pokemon fun cards. Hey kids. So yeah, so kids alter their cards. Red a cake. <laughs> they turned Cubone <laughs> into a Q phone. Wow. Stinks. Oh no. Well, that's kind of rude. <laughs> TV. It's a TV. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so then we've got, we're getting into some sort of, looks like Pokemon Pikachu the movie trading cards, and these are apparently, complete set is in the price range of 400 to $650. In 2000. Yeah, curious to see what these would be worth nowadays. Oh my. Pikachu, funny face Pikachu. Wow, this is, there's a lot of neat stuff in here. Let's see what else we can kind of, ooh, here we go. Mew versus Mewtwo. Who's the most powerful Pokemon? Well, I think Mewtwo is more powerful, but I think Mew is harder to get. Because uh, usually for Mew, you have to get it through some sort of event. Like originally in red and blue, uh, the only way you could get Mew outside of a game shark or doing the exploit that we know about nowadays is you actually had to go to an event in person and um, Game Freak would give it to you or Nintendo, I'm not sure which, but um, that was the only way you could get it outside of a game shark or using, or if you had a friend who had it, then you could do the uh, link cable exploit where once they send you the Pokemon, you disconnect, turn it off, and then you both have the Pokemon. So, well, so I would say in terms of rarity, Mew is definitely more rare in the games, but Mewtwo is more powerful. So, two very iconic Pokemon. The Secrets of Evolution, a revolution in evolution. And they're talking about the fossil set, and they're showing right here, Big Daddy himself, Dragonite, that is definitely one of the top hits in the set for sure. How to draw Ooh. a Pokemon? Okay, that's wow, it's still in here. That's cool. Let's see what else we have? Flip hey, hey. Oh, <laughs> great saving. Got the original card in there. Subscribe now. Oh, that's cool. Guide to 151 monsters, and it's got a picture of each one. Very nice. This is a nice magazine. This is a Beckett, okay. Yeah, I think they're, they're all Beckett. And Mew has a little star next to his name. So you can't get this unless you go. Ooh, I have an ancient Mew. Collecting rare cards. So apparently in, oh wow. So, so hilariously, 
this card is worth like ten dollars now, but back in <laughs> 2000, the error card was worth a thousand, hundred dollars, and the corrected version sells for so. So back in 2000, this card sold for 75 bucks, but now it's like ten dollars. So that's hilarious. And then this this is funny to me too because uh, the Mew on the Lily Pad I know from Evolution, but I didn't know that it was actually based on a Japanese card that was. Coral Koro version? This card was first released as a promotional giveaway for the Japanese Railroad. It was distributed as a prize during a stamp rally. So back in 2000, that card was worth. It. Anywhere between $225 and $350. So, oh, now this card, I know this card's worth big money these days. So in 2000, this card was worth $350 to $500. But I think nowadays, well, I actually don't know what it's worth off the top of my head. But if I had to guess, it's probably upwards of ten grand. but I'm not sure. Now Ooh, here, okay. now this is this was the bread and butter of these books back in the day. Now for Magic and a lot of the other card games, they had the Scry and they had another one called Inquest. Mm -hmm. So those were similar price guides. Um, so yeah, back in the day, um, you know, 1990s, late 90s, 2000, the internet was starting to cook, um, but there wasn't a ton of like websites that had like pricing or there wasn't a ton of people selling cards online or anything like that. You pretty much had to go to local shops or travel to go buy cards. Um, and so it's showing in this column, it shows you like the starting price and then this is the, the higher price. So yeah. it's a range. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of interesting because it's like two, in 2000, like the prices were so different than now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Price range. Yeah. And you know, so in comparison, like, you know, the low price would be kind of like what you could expect to, um, you know, if you if you were able to get it or if you were, you know, if you were able to get it from like a, a shop that did like mass quantities or something like that, you could probably get it for that price. But and it also probably has to do with a lot with the condition of the card, like if it's just near mint versus mint or just, you know, obviously this price isn't going to be like LP or anything like that. Um, right. But this is probably like, you know, you're looking at like your Beckett eights here, and then this would be like your Beckett nine to 10 range, most likely. But yeah, very interesting. 2000, the Charizard Hollow from the first edition set. First edition Charizard was 250 to $350. And now it's. <laughs> basically 10 grand to 80 grand yeah based on condition yeah and grading basically so yeah crazy 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 now i remember uh back in 99 2000 when i was playing pokemon at the card shop um tournaments we did pokemon tcg tournaments stuff like that they had first edition packs the first edition packs I think were like five bucks and the base set unlimited packs were like two fifty, so everyone would just buy the base set packs because you get more cards that way. We all knew that first edition was worth more, but we didn't I don't think at that time we quite understood that first edition would become work would become so much more valuable. Like back in ninety nine it wasn't that big of a difference. It was like um, I think first edition Charizard when I it was a 99, it was like a hundred dollars. And then the, the base set one was like 40. So yeah. it was kind of like a, you know, double ratio, which is kind of the same as the pricing on the booster pack. So it's interesting to kind of think about this and, and look at these prices from that time period and then go back and see it. So, yeah. So, so the base unlimited Charizard was 35 to 50. Now this is in Two, uh, 2000, February so this 2000. is 2000. So the game is still pretty new at this point. Yeah. And the first edition was already 250 to 350, so. They have jungle first edition here too. Mm hmm jungle and then uh, probably not fossil yet. Oh, they do have no, fossil. fossil. Okay, yeah, because fossil. First edition and unlimited. Okay, <clears throat> very nice, very nice. Take a little hydration break here. Oh, they have the Japanese ones too. <clears throat> a lot of a lot of us uh, at the card shop bought the Japanese cards too. 
because they had the sets, they had a lot of sets out before you could get them in English. So a lot of us, we had like the Team Rocket cards. I think we had the Team Rocket cards in 99 or early 2000. I'm pretty sure it was 99 before the English version came out. And we also had the Fossil and Jungle before the English version came out too, which, so that was pretty cool. I used to have some of these little flip cards. Oh yeah. The flips. I didn't have any of those. I remember seeing the trading card ones. Those were cool. And those are actually getting up there in value, guys. I'm sure you guys are probably, a lot of you guys are probably aware of that. Those, some of the tops um, <clears throat> I Pokemon saw, trading cards. I saw three of those. Yeah, yeah, I seen those in your binder. One of them was Charizard. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's cool. What else do we got? These guys, yeah. Those are, these are- these Oh, the are, trivia. Please these trivia. are actually Burger have. King Pokemon cards. I have three of these ones. I thought yours were the tops, like this. I think I have one of those, but I've got the I've got three of these in my binder. So you got three of the Burger King ones. Mm -hmm. How much is charging one back to this? <laughs> Two bucks. Back in two thousand, the Burger King Charizard was three to five dollars. Well, there you go. <laughs> you could get a Whopper with that. <clears throat> so that's cool. So they got the top stuff. I did First have maybe. some of those at some point though. <clears throat> wow. Oh, Pokemon versus Digimon. Well, we I'm know. so surprised that none of this has been colored on since 2000. Like, Well, I mean, the type of person that still has these 20 true. years later. And it's in pretty good condition. Yep. Pokemon versus Digimon. We know who won that battle. Although, I did see Digimon at Target recently. They have, uh, if, you, if, you, if you, I actually had Digimon back in the day when I was like, I don't know, 12 or 13 or something like that. But I did have one. It was pretty cool. It's kind of a pain in the butt to raise that thing though. Like it's super easy for it to die before it like evolved or became its cool form that you wanted to get. Like there was like six or seven of the cool ones for the final stage. Yeah. It was hard to get to that point. <clears throat> At least it was when I was a kid, it felt like it was, so. Do you remember those? Yeah, those Pokedex, those are cool actually. Actually, those are actually worth some money nowadays too if you have them in the package. I believe it's it's worth something, quite a bit, probably hundreds. Yeah, I remember wanting one, but I didn't get one. Yeah. <laughs> they could really make a cool one nowadays. They could. They could really do that. I was gonna say too. Um, like they make the Rotom one. Yeah, the Rotom phone one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they have those Digimon. They, they brought them back, they're Target. So if you want one of those, go get them. They're, they're up there. They are actually in the card section, so. Colossalgames.com. You should uh, check and see if they're still in business. You have second edition base rares, second edition jungle, Japanese boosters. You gotta call for the pricing on those. <laughs> we don't just give those out to anybody, guys. Not just anybody. Oh, look. Ooh, they've got the grading service form here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still use that. Just the digital version nowadays. But yeah, look, they got the cards graded. They still look pretty similar to what they look like nowadays. They don't have any of the subgrades in these, but still very close, very similar. I do really like the way that the Beckett grading looks. I, I think Beckett looks the best. I think PSA looks pretty good too. I don't really care for any of the other ones so far. I think the CGC one looks pretty bad. I'm not a fan of that. I think it looks good for comics and I think it looks good, really good for like video games or something like that, like something like WADA. But for the card, like, I don't know, the color and the size of the label that they use, not, not digging that. Ooh, that's a really cool Game Boy Color. The one that has the Gen 2 starters on the side there. That one's cool. I've never seen that before. You've never seen that one? No. <laughs> Pokemon's, yeah, it's, it's probably worth a lot of money too these days. I, I never owned one, but I was, I seen it and I was like, ooh, I would like that. Wanna play? Oh, my. <laughs> Pokey Flip, okay, so these are different ways. These are, these are, this is what people did with their first edition Charizards back in the day. Pokey Throw, let's, throw our cards or we'll pokey flip them or we'll put them in our bicycle spokes oh yeah um i did that <laughs> oh here's here's an article on how to get ready for your first pokemon tournament the night before the tournament 
get plenty of sleep. Don't play your deck over and over again, hoping to work out the bugs at the last minute. <laughs> this is so awesome. This is hilarious. Yeah. And oh, oh, I skipped the page. Yes. Tournament, oh, DCI, baby. I was a DCI member, probably still am. I haven't played in years, but. Same. Now I don't know that, well, I don't think Pokemon does DCI anymore, but I could be wrong, I don't know. I think that's more magic. Yeah, that's what I, I had it for magic. I got into that because of this guy. Sorry. <laughs> That's a 2010. No, Magic's, Magic's fun. I just don't like, uh, I'm not a big fan of the direction that the game has headed into in the last few years. Yeah, but... it's really strange. Oh, they do these crazy, like, oh, hey, well, we're going to make, so the, basically they have, like, the regular version of the cards that's, like, you know, same price as Pokemon, $90, $100 a booster box. And then they've got this souped-up turbo version that everyone wants that's, like, three to four times as much money. Oh yeah, you gotta get the collector's edition booster box. It's three to four hundred dollars. It has all the expensive cards, but you can't get any of those expensive cards in the regular ones. So that's what I don't like about it. But I do like Magic. I've always, I've played Magic since I was like eight years old. So um, Magic will always have a place in my heart. But uh, yeah, I don't really like where the game's going. But anyways. I like this shirt. <laughs> Ah, yes, Pikachu, and he has a very nice drawing of Rhydon there. And this kid is showing off his Charizard, but also showing off a Beedrill, which I find interesting. He also has a cool shirt. It's does, a Blastoise. does have a cool shirt. I don't know why. He... Oh, his slippers. Yeah, those are nice. I remember seeing those in the store and I wanted them. His favorite cards are Charizard and Beedrill. Okay, so that's why I was like, hmm. I don't know why anybody would show that Beedrill off. I mean, I had like 19 Arcanines just because it was my favorite. Well, Arcanine's a cool Pokemon. Yeah. Well, Beedrill is too, but that card's not hollow. So I'm like, mm. Well, like I, none of my Arcanines were hollow or anything like that. Mm. I just liked it. So I would constantly like trade for my friend's Arcanines. It was kind of sad. So here's what the decks looked like back in 2000. We've got the Grass Transfer deck. Okay. Um, I, don't, I think maybe I played against that deck once. The decks, the deck that most people were playing when I was playing the tournaments was the um, the Hitmonchan Electabuzz deck. So if any of you guys out there have, <laughs> have played that deck, they're as old as me or close to my age or whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it was like Hitmonchan, Electabuzz, and Zapdos. So basically you just played a bunch of really powerful basic Pokemon and you try to knock them out quickly. But Scyther was a really good basic Pokemon too. Hmm. Oh, tournament calendar. Tournament calendar. Was there any? any that's actually where I played. Wow. I'm not going to reveal that, but <laughs> that's actually where I went to play. Oh, interesting. That's, that's cool that they're in there. Hmm. That's actually where I was playing in 99. How cool. First edition holograms. $300 Charizard. Comic Odyssey. But hey, you can get the base set one for 50. Of course, nobody talked about like Shadowless versions back then or anything like that. I don't think people were really aware of it. I know I wasn't. We didn't. Nobody knew anything about Shadowless versus Shadowed. I didn't either. Collector's Cash is still around. These guys are big. These guys are still around. They're still cooking. These guys sell a lot of cards. Well, that was cool. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, we've got some more magazines but uh they're all based oh that one's got bakugan <laughs> pokemon unofficial collector beckett what else do we have in here the rest of these i think are from 2009 to 2010. oh yeah so i think there was only ones. one of them that was older like that yeah this one's got like platinum in it and stuff but yeah definitely we'll have to look through these too sometime in the near future but wow that was actually a lot of fun i was uh 
pleasantly surprised <laughs> with this. A lot of really cool stuff we've seen in that magazine. Kind of took me down a memory lane, a trip down memory lane. Indeed. Got some of that nostalgia going. So, hey, anyway. Ray. And then we've also got, um, my mom also funded some Dollar General packs. Ooh. So we're gonna like pack battle this. Okay, well. There's one of each of those. Let's uh, summon Arceus and uh, <laughs> please give us some blessings because we need it uh, with these dollar packs. This, I am... Yeah, this is all they had left. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. So we've got two breakpoint Okay. Um, two two pack sets, and then two Guardians Rising, and then the rest of these are Cosmic Eclipse. So, well, I love Cosmic Eclipse. I think there's, and uh, yeah. Well, I hope we can pull something here because I am not a huge fan of these guys. <laughs> the pulls are usually not very good, so I'm at least for me. I'm just gonna take these out. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it comes with the an extra card in there. Probably like just junk. Yeah, this is a common. Just a one dollar common card, no big deal. <laughs> oh, this one was kind of open. Ooh. Ooh. Like Ash's Pikachu. Oh, that's actually a promo. Yeah, it is. That's like one of the good cards you could pull from this. Congra got, congrats. It's so cute. Yeah, you actually got the I Choose You movie promo. I actually- I'm excited. That movie's on Netflix, and I actually really like that movie. That movie's good. Woo! That's really exciting. I'm just gonna keep him out, I think. Okay, so... All right, so how do you wanna start this up? I guess let's start with Breakpoint. Breakpoints, all right. All right, you go first this time. Okay, you wanna take turns? Yeah. These go, these go really quick. You can right. just do both of them. Opening just does not feel good. <gasps> Reverse star you and a splash energy. Woo! Yay. <laughs> Alright. You wanna do your Oh you want me to do yeah. both? Okay. Just about. My bad. We'll alternate on the cosmic eclipse. Hacks open weird. Hey, we Ooh. got our reverse rare. Neato. That's not bad. First dollar hit there. All right, my turn. Yep. You are up, Andy. Coming. I like to open them like that. How did you? I'll show you. Okay. Show me the next one. Oh, Greninja break. We know they're not weighing them. Okay. <laughs> I'm good with that. I mean, if you're gonna hit a break card, it's a Greninja. That's cool. For these, for these little guys, I like to do this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Giant Water Shuriken. Okay, you're doing pretty good at these dollar packs so far. I usually do. Another yeah, Greninja. A Greninja, non holographic. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right. Maybe they just weigh him at our. Dollar Tree. I don't know, this one's down in my mind's neck of the woods. So Guardians Rising. Cottony! Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh yes. Yeah. Nose pass. I will take a hard pass on that nose pass. All right. That one was weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. So no good. Ah, Stuffle. All stuffed. You got stuffed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rare. Hey, it's a dollar <laughs> rare. Dollar pack rare, we'll take it. All right, we'll go every other for the cosmic. Come on, cosmic eclipse. These are hanger packs. They are. They kept them behind the counter. Got that one. 
reverse temple. Ooh. Let's see some of that dollar magic, Mandy. See a hyper rare or something. Weevil. Reverse, reverse Weevil. Re reverse hollow weev Weevil. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Actually, I think I'm just going to open these upside down because <laughs> yeah. the hanger tab makes it a little difficult. <laughs> oh, Ooh. that's a good one. That's really cool looking. Yeah, it's a, the, the full arts from uh, Cosmic. Yeah, super cool art style on these. I'm surprised they're not worth more money because I think they look really cool. That looks really cool. That's yeah. super punk. That's actually the number one thing I like about Cosmic Eclipse the most is those. That is in the is in the hollow slot or the reverse slot sometimes. So sometimes there, you'll you get can that. Have that. It's your favorite. Ooh, hair cross. <laughs> I probably already have one of these, but I'll take it. Does that count on what I owe you? <laughs> no. Shucks. No, an uncommon hair across does not. <laughs> you owe me two packs yeah. or two Pokemon products. However you want to do it. Okay. Here you go. Just kidding. It has to be at least at least a regular booster pack. Should pawn your dollar packs on me? Goodness. He hates dollar packs. Here you got it. Normally they take me to host town. So. <gasps> I don't know. Ooh, red and blue. That's cool. That is really cool. It's a good card. Or an interesting card. Come on. Cosmic Eclipse. Let's do the suspense version again. <gasps> ah, Carvana. Dollar pack. Well, it's a rare. There. And Lily's polka doll. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got six packs left. Six packs. Six, yeah. six packs left. We're trying to salvage this. Get Mandy an ultra rare. It's a rare? Ah, rare. We'll take it. A dollar rare. It's been a while since we've opened dollar packs. It has. I like them. Maybe it's just me. Mm, some people like them. I'd like them if I got like better pools. I actually do a good pool on them. I usually do pretty decent. Except for that one time when I think they were weighing them. Yeah, makes it hard to, to do good when they're weighing them. Makes it very hard. So make sure that if you are going to buy them that they're not getting weighed. Oh, I think, I think, oh, oh. Ah, uh, Erica, first. she tricked you. Mm-hmm, she made, did. Made it look like it was an ultra. Darn it, Erica. Dear Erica. Oh. <laughs> Alright, last chance for me. We'll do not it, not it, and mm -hmm. reverse con. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're entertaining at least. <laughs> at least the dollar packs are entertaining. That's how I feel. I don't know. I kind of like being entertained by Hidden Fates better. <laughs> Having a chance to pull like uh, you know $600 card. Although Cosmic Eclipse, there's some uh, there's an expensive card in that set. Big Charizard, Daddy. Well, that was pretty cool. I mean, yeah, was... you got a couple nice things. You got the, the, ashes. the Pikachu, yeah. the Greninja breaks, pretty cool, and then the coughing. I would say you mm -hmm. got you got some nice stuff here. Those packs weren't bad. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Good, good deal. All right, guys. Well, 
That does it for our Beckett slash dollar pack video. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Yes. Thank you. Till next time. Yeah. Signing off. Like and subscribe. Babble, 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 babble.